Well, alrighty then. What's going on, guys? Dominic Gibbs here. Now, if you know me or don't know me simply because you've been living a rock or genuinely just don't care, I couldn't blame you. I'm not exactly an important person in this world. You may know that I love hockey. I love ice hockey. And I love it so much that I'm using two hockey pucks to keep my iPhone upright while I'm recording this video. Okay. Listen, we all knew this was going to happen, right? We all knew that this was going to happen. So, if any of you don't know, or you actually have been living under a rock and just genuinely don't care about your own well-being... Sorry. The NBA decided to suspend the 2019-2020 season due to the coronavirus outbreak. And uh, uh, one of the main factors was that was that Rudy Gobert, a player for the Utah Jazz, I believe. I may have got that team wrong. Don't care. I hate the kid. Um, decided to, after an interview, go and touch all the microphones and then was tested positive for, well, preemptive leader, whatever that word is that starts with a P, tested positive for the coronavirus. And he also gave it to two of his teammates. Because he didn't care. Um, Rudy, buddy, listen. Do you know how many people hate your guts right now? Like, like, seriously. Seriously. Rudy, I, I, and I say this knowing that even if the coronavirus isn't lethal, it is still something that could kill him. Rudy, you are an idiot! Even if you didn't think you had it, what the heck possessed you to touch all the microphones when you left? You don't see anybody else doing that, do you? No! Regardless, I wish him nothing, I wish him nothing but a quick recovery and good health in his future. But the guy is still an idiot. So, after the NBA suspended their operations, the NHL slowly but surely gave us the warning that, yeah, we're going to do the same. First, it started off with... <coughs> That's not coronavirus. It's just a nagging cough. Um, it first started out with teams, I think it was earlier this week or last week, being told by their mayors or their venues that they will play games in empty arenas. First off, I don't on Okay, listen. I'm not saying that I disagree with that, but come on. Really? Like, I'm not disagreeing with the idea. I'm disagreeing with the fact that you wouldn't think about just suspending play entirely. Empty arenas? Really? But, like, if I'm being completely honest, I was totally down for that because I thought it would have been the funniest thing ever to tomorrow look at NHL's YouTube highlights and see the Penguins and the Blue Jackets playing in an empty arena. Like, do you know how, do you know how weird that would be? Would someone still sound the cannon after the Blue Jackets scored? But, anyways. Then, this morning, the it was a league-wide... Um, message or email or whatever it was, the morning skates, morning interviews, all that would have to be canceled. And then I was like, okay, all right, all right, this, no, no. And then NHL discussion posts that um, NHL referees are told to book a flight home, and then we all kind of think, yeah, it's over, yep, yep. And then about 20 minutes ago, the NHL decides or uh, comes to the conclusion that they will be, um, and this is a new word, pausing the 2019-2020 season due to the coronavirus outbreak. Now listen, I'm not going to sit here and be like, the coronavirus is nothing more than an exaggerated flu, okay? It's, it's just, it's not even that lethal. The flu kills more people than coronavirus. Yeah, no crap. Wow, it is really hard not to cuss now. Anyways, um, listen, I understand why they did it, and it sucks. Um, but they obviously, both the NBA and the NHL, want to put everyone's health first. I get that. I understand that. Um, 
unfortunately, my life has no meaning or purpose now. Um, I don't watch the NHL often, but when I do, I find it to be extremely entertaining. Considering the fact that, you know, I kind of made the decision that I eventually wanted to play for hockey, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of good to study up on what I need to do to make it there. Um, listen. Everyone who's watching this, like the video, just like the video, I don't care. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jerk at times, okay? I, I can understand that. I'm a jerk. I do stuff that is unconventional. I am not a very warm or lovey person. I don't show my feelings often. Please, even if it is not lethal, please be safe. Stick to your healthy habits. Wash your hands. Cough in, and sneeze into your freaking arm. When you do, just make sure you're staying healthy and make sure if you do see early signs of the coronavirus, go to the doctor, okay? Now, if you have it, don't worry because most people that have gotten it are healthy now. I don't know how long the recovery process took, but it probably wasn't, it was maybe like two to three weeks. I would say. I don't know. That's just an educated guess. Please, everyone, be safe. Don't run to Costco and try to buy as much toilet paper as you can. Who in that? Who? Toilet paper? Why would we need toilet paper? Like hand sanitizer. Body wash. Like stuff that will clean you and cleanse you. Get food, bro. Whatever. Listen, um, just please be safe, okay? To everyone, whether I like you, don't like you, I'm in love with you, you know who you are. And if I completely despise you, you definitely know who you are. Please be careful. Please? That's all I ask. Um, I wasn't planning on making a video this month, but I figured, you know... Because I'm a hockey fan, I might as well do something about this. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. If you really like it, click the subscribe button with your sanitized hands. And, uh, yeah, just stay safe. God bless. Peace out and go Griffs. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more thing. Because I was scared of the coronavirus, I... Went out and married a girl on Snapchat last night, so, uh, that was fun. She knows who she is.